Greetings Exiles and welcome to the Fortescue Institute for Inspired Learning. Today we'll be going over how to level your Leo efficiently. Joining me as always are Sir Reginald Amadeus Fortescue III and Frank. Before we go over the leveling process, let's go over how Leo can benefit us. Starting with the crafted mods that he brings to the table. We have at level 3... 15 to 30 percent increased damage over time which is great for any damage over time builds this is crafted on weapons we then have 10 to 20 percent faster start of energy shield recharge this is great for builds that rely on energy shield recharge as a form of healing next we have 10 to 20 percent reduced damage taken from damage over time this is crafted on shields and two-handed weapons the nice thing about this is it helps us with damage over time, which is an issue that plagues a few builds. It's also great for Righteous Fire if you'd like to use a life, an armor shield, or an energy shield shield instead of a Rise of the Phoenix. Next up, at level 5, we gain access to Chance to Avoid Being Stunned. This is crafted on Helms. This is great if you're using Stun Avoidance as a method of dealing with Stun, and using the right essences you can actually get 100% this way. Now the not so obvious bonuses. First of all, since it takes 2 to 3 hours to get to level 5, this might be interesting if you're struggling to get a medium sized hideout. Additionally, this gives us access to a lot of hideout decorations as well as Leo's hideout. And lastly, and quite interestingly, at level 6, Leo sells 40 orbs of regret for 64 orbs of scouring. So this is a pretty nice bargain. So, to get started, let's just go over the character and the setup that you'll need. First of all, I'm using two accounts, my main account and one that I use to boost myself whenever it's required. Like if I make a build that can't do the Uber Labyrinth and want to just boost myself through it. So, let's get started with my main account and the kind of setup we have here. So first off, I've created a PvP-only character, which can be done as soon as you find Leo in Act 3. And with that character, I've done the following. I've just picked up all the movement speed that I could get my hands on, getting over to Chaos Inoculation. Now, if you're using movement speed gear that gives you energy shield, you may want to pick up Eldritch Battery as well. But that entirely depends on the kind of gear you've got. As long as you've got one life and no other extra pool from anyway. So let's go over our gear. What I'm basically just doing is picking up as much movement speed from gear as possible. Obviously the red beak being replaced by a screaming eagle would be convenient, but I didn't really want to waste too much currency on this. So this is our fast character. This is the one we'll be controlling the most, so make sure that this screen is the one that's easier for you to control. Going over to my alt account, this passive tree is basically just unwavering stance, so that our other character can't miss, as well as chaos inoculation and eldritch battery, because the fastest way through was to go through foresight. Now the only piece of gear that we require on the alt character is some sort of thorns item. Here I've just crafted a full plate with some reflect physical damage to melee attackers. Once this is on the gear you're pretty much guaranteed to both die at the same time each time. Sometimes it bugs out but we'll deal with that if it happens. So as you can see one life no extra pool. So we have our two characters now what we want to do is just join a low level PvP duel. So we just go... Now once you're in the PvP duel you'll want to be controlling your main character, the one with all the movement speed. And all you have to do is run on over to the other character and default attack it. Run on over, default attack. If you have a friend who also wants to level Leo, it's a good idea to have him or her play the other slot, instead of using two characters on one computer.
Now, in the event that for some reason your character doesn't die from the thorns, what you'll want to do is just go on over and kill the other way around. Because you want this fight to be a draw, so that your rating stays the same. So from there we just click ready for next round again and start the next one. And so you would go on until you reached your required level for Leo. I've put the average number of these matches that would be required to reach certain levels of Leo. Hopefully that helps you guys out and hopefully this helps you guys out. So from myself, Sir Reginald Amadeus Fortescue III and Frank, We'd like to thank you for visiting the Fortescue Institute for Inspired Learning and hope that your Leo leveling adventures go as smoothly as possible. I'm Sir Reginald Amadeus Fortescue III and I approve this message. <laughs>